players go in for Aztec here. How the mod works, if you're un if you're unfamiliar with it, how the whoops, how the mod works, how the mod works is that you have to choose Shenong, the Chinese god. You have to choose Shenong, and then after that, um, once the game starts, you click on your town center and you can select which of the three Aztec gods you want to play. Anyway, so King Dragon is switching things up. He's switching over to Tezcatlipoca. That's the most commonly chosen Aztec god in in the tournament um, so far. So he's going with uh, Tezcatlipoca here in the red. Grass and Groom is also going for Tezcatlipoca. Okay. Let me update the scoreboard real quick. Tezca. Tezca. There we go. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we got Tezca for both the boys. Tezca for both the boys. Um... Yeah, okay, so um, Gold Rush, if you're not familiar with this map, you start with two, it's a very, very open map. Let me just reveal, wait, how do you, how do you reveal the map again? That's how you reveal the map. So you start off with two gold mines in your base. Is it two gold mines, two medium gold mines every time? Or is it like ghosts, like where it's some of the time? I think it's every time. I think it's every time. Anyway, so you start off with two medium gold mines in your base, and then all the rest of the gold is here in the center, right? As you can see on the minimap, it's all here in the center. So, a little bit interesting. Um, a little bit interesting. I like the fact that there's two medium gold mines in your base. I think that's really good for the competitiveness of the map, right? Hard to win fights in captured mode, says Uros. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, but we can talk about that later, so we'll talk about that later. Again. Anyways, and then and then there's, as you saw, there's a ring of, of wood around the exterior of the map. So a lot of times these maps are, or these games can be pretty aggressive, pretty aggressive and action packed a lot of times. Um, just because it's, you know, it's so open. All of the wood is all around the exterior. So it's such an open map that, you know, things can get really aggressive and exciting, which is interesting. Are the Egyptians or Norse gods in this? Yes, of course. Yes, 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 yes. All of the gods are. You do have to choose China. You do have to have... China. So this is on Steam. This is on Steam, um, Shanks. You do have to have China. You choose, like I said, you choose, um, what's it called? You choose Shenong. If you want to just play Shenong, just play Shenong. But at the very beginning, when you have the mod enabled, at the very beginning, when you choose Shenong, there are buttons that in the town center, there's little buttons in the UI that display. I think they show up like right here when you're playing. Anyways, um, then you can select, if you want to play Aztec, then you can select which one of the gods, and it essentially replaces everything with, in the in the beginning seconds of the game, it replaces everything with uh, Aztec. So, yeah, of course, Egyptian and Norse and Greek and Atlantean and China are still in it, but you have the option of going um, Aztec as well. In the tournament, in the tournament, you can you have to play Aztec one game, and, um, and, and then it's, I think it's free god pick after that, but maybe you haven't, you can't play with a god you've won with. There's some, there's some small parameters around your god picks, but essentially you have to play um, Aztec at least one time. At least one time. I want to mention something real quick, by the way. Um, speaking of the two gold mines, we saw Grass and Groom's gold mines are in the back side of his base, which is amazing for him, especially that one right there. Um, plus, plus on this side one right here, he even has like this wood line jutting out right there. It's amazing to secure his gold mine. This is a really good map, I think, uh, for Grass and Groom. Really good map. He has, he has boars that are close enough to his base. Really nice, in my opinion. Look at over at King Dragon's side. He has a ton of cows, which is amazing. But both of his gold mines are forward. Sure, there's a couple of towers there. Sure. But still, both of his gold mines are forward. It's a little bit sketchy, man. It's a little bit sketchy. Like I said, since since this map is so open, that's really sketchy. You know, the ability the ability the ability you have of putting aggression on your opponent, um, you know, that's that's bad news. Really bad news. Interesting. His Flatuani. This is this is kind of like a, a pharaoh. This is kind of like the equivalent of a pharaoh unit, but you know, for Aztec, obviously, it's already damaged a little bit. I wonder why. I don't think he walked it onto the town center of Grass and Groom. Not entirely sure. Oh, I think it was fighting Grass and Groom's Flatuani. Okay. Yeah, this is like a priest and a pharaoh kind of. It's like a priest and a pharaoh kind of. Okay. King Dragon wanting to get a little bit of some aggression going. Grass and Groom. I think Grass and Groom may be going for it. Yeah, we got Shalotl. Shalotl coming in for both of the players, I think. 
Grass and Groom. What is Grass and Groom advancing through? Shalotl. Okay, so Shalotl is coming through for both players. Actually, it's Grass and Groom who's really late. He's, a, he's got about a five minute advance going, actually. Um, so just like he finishes up his boars, Grass and Groom finishes up his boars, and then he goes back into his base. He's gonna go on to chickens and berries. Just kidding, just chickens. Okay, chickens and cows, chickens and cows. Yes, yes, King Dragon going for the Sacred Dog Spam. You can train kind of like Set. This is such a cool idea. Out, kind of like Set being able to train animals out of his um, Pharaoh. Similarly, you can train, I think it's Warrior Priests. Yeah, I think it's Warrior Priests. You can train um, these Sacred Dogs out of your Warrior Priests. And they're, they're kind of hero units. Okay, so they are hero units. They're they're specifically good against myth units, but you can upgrade them, which make them a little bit more viable in a straight up fight, like army against army, right? This is amazing that he's repairing or he's healing his stuff right here. There's how many sacred dogs? Four sacred dogs compared to three sacred dogs. Grass and grooms got a couple of random of his fake. Um, what are they called? The decoy units out there keeping an eye on town centers which is a good play that's definitely a good play yeah here's the upgrade underworld underworld guides shut auto train sacred dogs in their role whatever that means they gain much greater attack and hit points but also become more expensive so they're 20 40 oh they're actually a lot wait they're i think i think the dogs become 20 like 100 food so they're 20 additional food after you upgrade them but they are stronger but they are stronger i like that trade-off i like that idea like I said, I think in general, the, the Aztec mod, they did such a good job balancing the little details of the civilization. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. We got a runner. Um, the Aztecs, the, the Americas, before the Spanish came over, um, did not have horses. Did not have horses. And so, at least domesticated horses. So, the Aztecs do not have cavalry. They do not have actual cavalry, but they do have these runners, which function as cavalry. They function as cavalry just without the horse without the horse. Okay, Warrior's Blessing coming in for both players. Okay, so these Automatical Knights, those are, those are stronger, like stronger archers, essentially. That's like the Heroic Age units. That's what that God Power does. It upgrades the units into kind of like heroic, heroic Age units, kind of, the Noble's Quarters units. This is amazing out here. King Dragon is still hunting outside of his base, whereas Grass and Groom is on chickens and cows. Really nice for uh, Grass and Groom. Or, sorry, really nice for King Dragon, rather. Really nice for King Dragon here. We're going to have a big fight here. The engagement. Pretty good engagement here from King Dragon. It's hard to tell who actually has the advantage here. There is defender's advantage for Grass and Groom. Okay, there's a good number of Ottomanal Knights here. Oh! Okay, there's a prisoner. There's a prisoner. We can talk about the prisoner mode or the capture mode here in just a second. There's some dogs going down. It's a little bit hard to see, tell who is taking the advantage here. It kind of looks like King Dragon may be taking the advantage here. Although we do have, like I said, the the defenders, the the defenders, the defenders advantage, the defensive units coming in. Okay, and ultimately, yes, ultimately King Dragon does need to retreat after the reinforcements come in for Grass and Group. So I think that was a good fight. That was a good fight for King Dragon, in my opinion. Um, but he needs to be careful not to lose additional units unnecessarily. Wow, look at that. Nice, nice little bit of micro there for King Dragon. Saving his unit. There's no HP lost right there. Very nice. Okay. I think that was a nice little fight there for King Dragon. He is lower on, on total population. If you look right here, 67, 69 population for Grass and Groom, 70, compared to only 58 for King Dragon. King Dragon, maybe he's a little low on gold. That's not very, that's not pretty. Obstructing his gold income, that's definitely not pretty right there. It hurts his saturation, just gotta switch over to that other gold mine. Anyways, yeah, so he's, he's a little bit behind in, how many villagers does he have? King Dragon is ahead by two villagers, but he's behind in total military population. Medium Popolato Runners, Popolato, okay, so Grass and Groom already has, Grass and Groom already has medium, um, medium, medium Runners, so that's like Medium Cavalry, it's like Medium Cavalry, and Medium Tequila Archer, so he has Medium Infantry here, so cool, dude, did you guys hear that, it's so cool, I hope you guys hear that, I hope you hear that, it's so cool, When you take a fight near your Tzompantli, the Aztec Death Whistle plays, and it's so cool! So cool, so cool, so cool. 
Okay, and there we have it. King Dragon takes a score lead, and he takes a nice little lead in that fight right there. It takes a nice fight. Well done by King Dragon. He's ahead by an, a villager still. Still ahead by a villager. Okay. Still ahead by a villager, ahead by population. He has an opportunity here to push. He has an opportunity here to push. He's ahead by 14, 15 population. Okay, total population. He has an opportunity here. He doesn't want to... He doesn't... He's not interested, though. Not interested. He just wants to take his advantage, enjoy it, and, you know, go from there, apparently. Still hunting, which is huge. This is a really nice bonus for his economy here. Really nice bonus for his economy. Grass and Groom. Grass and Groom drops his Tianguis. Okay. Your Tianguis is... This is an interesting building. It's like a market, but you can also research upgrades, which give you villagers. It gives you um, resources, for example, etc. So, yeah, just like that. Schwing, three additional villagers, and boom. Just like that, Grass and Groom pops up above total villager numbers compared to King Dragon. Okay. Hunting dogs, husbandry, pickaxe compared to hunting dogs and husbandry. So no pickaxe for King Dragon, okay? But he is still hunting. That's a big deal, man. That is a big deal that he's been hunting this whole time. That's a big deal for his economy. He just ran out of cows, though. I was just going to see Grass and Groom just now switching over to farms. Just now switching over to farms. What just happened? Did he just buy? I think he just bought three prisoners. I think Grass and Groom just bought three prisoners from his Chianguis. He's going to go sacrifice them check it out yeah oh that priest is busy get it done baby oh is it not gonna do three in a row oh that's a little bit of a bummer whatever that's okay okay king dragon's got some of those raiding units the papalado runners the raiders out and about are they gonna get caught if grass groom's paying attention Ooh, nice little nice attention paid right there by king dragon getting out of getting out of there right at the last moment we got some always autos here uh these myth units the myth units of shalotl coming over here gonna he's trying to sandwich grass and groom here i think i prefer this fight here from king dragon okay maybe not maybe not maybe not Yeah, King Dragon, Grass and Groom needs to be really careful that he doesn't get sandwiched here. He's maybe going to get sandwiched. This is really nice from King Dragon. Let's see if he's got the micro down. Let's see if he's got the micro down. He's got these three Awi these three myth units, which potentially could be amazing. Very nice. Oh, however, look at the snipers, the Tequila Archers. Maybe coming in here. Okay, okay, dude, check it out, check it out, check it out. Um, Grass and Grim still looking sketchy. He's having to retreat, getting caught off guard here. Awkward, 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 man. Very awkward. Capture mode enabled by King Dragon. He needs to get those Q archers um, going. Big fight coming in here. Another Awizato coming over. We've got three Awizatos, three myth units for King Dragon. Only one myth unit for Grass and Groom. Okay, who's taking this fight? It's hard to tell. Always idles, one always idle down, one always idle down. It still a little bit hard to tell. Another always idle coming in here uh, for King Dragon. Jeez, and he decides to retreat. He decides to retreat. He decides to retreat. The units are so dark. They're so dark. It's a little bit difficult to tell. If there's a um, ROTG guy here, if there's more blue on the actual unit, that would help out a lot. If there's more player color on the unit. That would help out a lot, in my opinion. There's there's barely enough player color, like the blue color, on these units right here. But that's just like my opinion, man. Most of it's all brown. They got the brown skin and the brown smock or whatever. Anyways, no additional town centers just yet. No additional town centers. Grass and Groom dropping farms. How about King Dragon? King Dragon not dropping farms. Oh boy. Oh really, boy. This is potentially this is potentially a big issue. This is maybe a big issue. He's still hunt. Oh, he's on berries. Okay, he's got he's got food over here. He's got food over here. Big fight, big fight, big fight, big fight, big fight, big fight. We got some always autos from both players coming in. One, two, three, four, five. What do these cost? They cost wood. Ah, they cost wood. They cost wood. They cost wood. So he's going for the always oh, auto spam, the myth unit spam, which is is it working? It's working fairly decent. I think King Dragon is taking decent fights here. This fight is definitely decent for King Dragon. This is really interesting. Okay, Grass and Groom is going for a retreat here. Check this out. Grass and Groom going for a second town center. And look, the gold mine, there's a gold mine just in front of the town center. Okay, gold mine just in front of the town center. But here's the thing. With the myth unit spam, King Dragon should be able to take better fights here, right? He should be able to take better fights. So how much gold is left in the gold mine of Grass and Groom? 
1350. Okay, okay. That's a good amount of gold. That's a good amount of gold. He's not going to get gold star just yet or anything. He's got he's got his Tianguis to supplement his gold, his gold economy. But at the same time, he needs to be careful, man, because that gold mine, that ain't, even though the town center's nearby, that thing is not secured. That thing is not secured, man. No, 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 no. So Grassing Room's on a little bit of a timer. Okay, King Dragon sees the TC get taken. He takes his own TC here, okay? Yeah, nice. Nice by King Dragon. Nice by King Dragon. Grassing Groom needs to get... Needs to get. I don't know what Grassing Groom needs to do. Maybe go for a bunch of... Uh, I, I don't know. A bunch of sacred dogs, maybe? I mean, this is... this is How many is this? This is five Awizadles. Five Awizadles. Regenerating beasts. They regenerate? Oh, cool. He's got five of them, dude. Grassing Groom's in some trouble. Grass and Groom is in some trouble, man. He is definitely in some trouble. There's three Awi's Autos there for himself, sure. But still, it's five on three, essentially. Well, not essentially, it just is. Five on three. Yeah, King Dragon wants to hunt Grass and Groom's food over on this side. Second town center is in. Okay, for both players. This is this is it, baby. This is it. Can King Dragon gold starve Grass and Groom? Can he gold starve Grass and Groom? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Big fight coming in here, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Taking the fight is one thing, but, you know, at the very least, he just wants to keep him off gold. He just wants to keep him off gold. The bear even wants to get in on the action. Hello. Okay. Big fight coming in here. Big fight coming in here. The archers, the archers, and there's... Yes, there's a sacred dog. There's a sacred dog. There's a sacred dog. There's a sacred dog. There's only one of them. There's two of... Two of them, two of them, but they're not even going after the myth units, man. They're not even going after the myth units. And check it out. We got some we got some prisoners. Some prisoners. King Dragon. This is the tricky thing. King Dragon is stealing a bunch of prisoners. Uh, don't don't let me forget. Don't let me forget that we need to talk about uh capture mode um here in just a second. There's a there's a witchman bucket, a sacred dog doing some decent damage there against the Always Auto. The Always Autos of Grass are pretty much toast. One, two, three, four, four Always Autos left over for King Dragon. A couple of villager kills as well. Grass and here, you're gonna get gold stuffed here. Grass and Groom may be going to get gold starved here. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable, dude. Look at the economies of both players over on this left-hand side. Look at the economies. Similar, similar economies and total resources. Although, although Grass and Groom with a hell of a lot more wood. But still similar, slightly better economy for Grass and Groom here. Especially with all the farms. This is amazing, all the farms. Look at the lack of farms on King Dragon's side. That's a big deal. That is a very big deal. The reason why I say that is because Heroic Age... Okay, heroic age. Now he needs the gold to go heroic age. He needs to, the gold to go heroic age. But still, is the does that when you're in the classical age, can you trade with the Tianguis? Tianguis. I I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't think so, but I can't remember. Look, 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 look. Hello. Hello. Can King Dragon pull off this gold star, man? Can King Dragon pull off this gold star? Look at this, look at this, look at this real quick. Hey, look at this real quick. Look at the villager count. Look at the villager count. King Dragon has 62. 62 villagers for King Dragon. Grass and Groom, 70. Not a huge difference. Not a huge difference. He's dropping some towers here as well. Amazing by Grass and Groom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. King Dragon was baited over on this right-hand side um, to try and go for the villagers. He doesn't even finish off the villager. He's baited over on that right-hand side, which means that Grass and Groom has the opportunity to go for watchtowers over here. Amazing by Grass and Groom. Amazing by Grass and Groom. I don't know... If I don't know if he planned that or if it's just a happy little accident, but it's going to work. And I think Grass and Groom has control of this gold now. I think he's going to have control of this gold, and I think he's going to get heroic way before uh, King Dragon. King Dragon also has a lot of farms. Look at this. He finally dropped a bunch of farms himself, 19. He has 19 farms himself. Plow, okay. Grass and Groom is on a similar number, actually. 21, 22. Okay, 22 farms himself. So they're on similar farming numbers, but Grass and Groom is, Grass and Groom is ahead. Grass and Groom is ahead. He's going to click up. He's going to click up here pretty darn soon, depending on what happens, you know, in the next in the next 20, 30 seconds. Oh, dude! King Dragon is already up. I didn't even see that. And he uses Death's Awakening. Death's Awakening. It's like the, it's the Ancestor's God Power. It's like the Ancestor's God Power. That could be enough. That could be enough. That could be enough to maybe push through this. And Grass is just going for towers. He's going for the tower defense. This is hilarious. What is this, Age of Empires? Are you kidding me? 
What is this? Clash of Clans? Towers. Dude, the tower defense could be enough. The tower defense could be enough. The reason why I say that is because there's so many Takiwa archers here for King Dragon. There's so many Takiwa archers, so it's going to take forever and a half to try and take out those, uh, those, those, those watchtowers right there. The always autos are going down. The always autos are going down. It's it's a little bit hard to tell in the Aztec mirrors. It's a little bit hard to tell what's what, you know, which units are whose, partially just because you know again I ROTG guys I think there's a little bit lacking of color on the archers on 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 the units. Yeah, 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 yeah. Third town center incoming for King Dragon. That is good. That is good. That is good. He uses his Death's Awakening God Power. It's decent. He did, you know, he, he got a lot of kills here. Decent, decent, decent. He forced Grass and Groom to invest 3, 6, 9, 12, 1,200 resources into defending this right here. Was it worthwhile? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. He's got the farms now. He's got the farms, which is sick. Is Grass and Groom advancing? Let's see. He just started advancing through Jipe Totec. Oh, he's advancing through Jipe Totec. And actually, that gives him the god power called Night Winds. This god power is like Locust, but for human uh for military units human units any unit i guess not specific not specifically villagers or yeah villagers <clears throat> it's a pretty cool it's a, it's a really cool god power in my opinion really cool god power but it can be it can be played around you know it can be played around you really have to use that god power well because it's one of those god powers that kind of slowly does damage it slowly does damage. So if you have if you have fact, fast reaction time, you can just get out of there. You can get out of there and it's no problem, right? So this is this is interesting. A couple of butterfly god powers. The it's 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 papalotls it's papalotls here. Um, for 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 what's his bucket for King Dragon here. We also have heavy tequila archers. Heavy tequila archers. See, 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 nice reaction. Oh my god, nice reaction there. But he does walk into the tower. He does walk into the tower there, but nice reaction to split his army. Very well done by King Dragon. Very well done by King Dragon. Very well done by King Dragon. Grass Groom is trying to steal a TC over here. Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. King Dragon is maybe going to stop it, maybe going to stop it. Remember, these are heavy Takiwa archers. Heavy with hard cloth armor. I don't know what this is. Increased pierce armor. Okay, the pierce armor and the pierce attack. Okay, so pretty strong Takiwa archers here. There is a nice little Chinamedli, however, to try and play defense here. Maybe pick off the villagers, possibly? Is Grass and Groom going to get this up? Possib probably, probably going to get this up. Probably. Ooh, 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 a boulder right to the noggin. Okay, so the TC is going to go up. Grass and Groom is going to be on three TCs, and Grass and Groom is doing damage on the gold economy of King Dragon. King Dragon is on fortified tcs however he's on fortified tcs three of them both of them are oh, oh 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 he just went up mythic he just went up mythic he just went up mythic i wish i could kind of show you that a little bit better but he went up through the god the the the, the volcano god power maybe use it right here maybe use it right here to hit the gold to hit the gold in the town center maybe use it right here that is a kalmakak this is like a migdol or a hill fort but for the aztec units or sorry the aztec sib okay it's called that kind of scared me it's called a, it's called a kalmakak Okay, there's the, oh, it's so cool. It looks so cool. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I don't know if I'd like, eh, do I like the volcano usage there? It's maybe decent, it's maybe decent, it's maybe decent. It, it destroys the Kalmakak, it idles the gold right there. The gold mine is almost out, by the way. Can King Dragon pull it off, man? He's, whoops, sorry, misclick. Can he pull it off? He's trying to drop another Kalmakak here. Oh, look at the fire serpent. It's so cool. Look at the fire serpent. Look at the fire serpent. It's so cool. Whoops. The fire serpent is so cool. Kind of like a... Oh. Okay, it died pretty quickly, but man, that's a cool unit in my opinion. The butterflies are still in. These are like stint birds. The tequila archers doing their thing. Dude, he can sit those heavy tequila archers right there and just take it, you know, just snipe the villagers. The villagers built the... They built the Kalmakak right there, which is sick, but he could just sit his archers right there and idle the gold mine. He doesn't even need yet. He doesn't even necessarily need to finish that off. Oh, 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 oh. Grass and Groom just got up Mythic himself through the same god power, the god, the, 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 the volcano god power. The volcano god power. Okay, and now here comes, here we go. Here comes the, here comes the fire serpent of, 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 of Grass and Groom. Where is Grass and Groom going to use his god power? He's been playing defense for so long. This is, you know, you want to use this god power aggressively, but where, where does he use it? 
Where does he use it? To take out a town center, possibly? Maybe to take out a town center? These are the Craftsman Guild. These, these are, It's kind of a weird building. It makes siege units and armory upgrades. Kind of a weird building. Basti oh. one villain is feeling freaky. Hell yeah, Basti. Hell yeah. What's up, Berlin? Basti. What's happening, Basti? Okay, sorry. Grass and Groom is just struggling for gold, man. King Dragon can maybe pull this off. If you look at the score, the score is in... Uh, the advantage, score advantage, is for King Dragon here. Grass and Groom is holding on and doing a good job. He has not yet used his Volcano God power. He needs to find a way to just stabilize himself and then go on the aggressive. Oh! Go on the aggressive with the Volcano God power. A defensive use of the, go of the Volcano God power to try and kill units. I don't think that's the way to go, Grass, unfortunately. I don't think that's the way to go. Yeah, and just the immediate reaction time there by Grass and Groom, no problemo. That does give him a moment to, to, to mine this gold, however. Oh no, it doesn't! It kills your own units as well! Look, 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 look. It kills the volcano. Every How it works is that uh, this terrain, let's call it, this dark terrain here, anything here, it just gets destroyed, killed, destroyed. So Grass and Groom actually doing more damage to himself than he actually did to King Dragon, which is kind of hilarious. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable, dude. No, the volcano does not damage out anything outside of the lava, which is a little bit of a bummer. It's a little bit of a bummer. It makes it weaker than um, Earthquake, in my opinion. Quite a bit weaker than Earthquake. And it takes time for the volcano to build and... Or, like, to... It takes a while, so it can be very easily, easily countered. Okay, the Kalmakak is down, baby. The Kalmakak is down. Grass Groom has got villagers up here, up in this corner. He's got villagers up there. What are these? Heavy Tequila Archers, Celestial Priests. He's got some Celestial Priests. It's a hero unit from the Kalmakak, the, uh, the Migdol type of unit. Okay, King Dragon is looking great, man. This this gold mine right here is just about dead, dead for Grass and Groom, right? Just about dead for Grass and Groom. Grass and Groom is on fortified town and non-fortified town centers, normal normal town centers. So it is a big. Wait, how does he have 151 population? Why does Grass and Groom have 151 population? Does he have a? Ah, but why does that come at 151? Oh, it's because six per town center. A proper gentleman is gonna come. <laughs> Proper gentleman enjoying the, of course, gentleman would like uh, um, the Aztec action, baby. And Grass and Groom calls it bravo. Round of applause to King Dragon for pulling. It took him a long time to pull it off, but well done. He gets the gold star. Fine, not really a gold star. It's kind of a gold star, I guess. He just ended up, you know, kind of beating Grass and Groom via via, uh, you know, pressuring the gold. So very, very well done by King Dragon. Very well done by King Dragon. Throughout the middle of the game when he was making all those myth units, those always idols are called. Where are they? There we go. He's making these like doggy type of myth units. I don't really know what it is. As medium to small dog with hands similar to a monkey's on both arms and a tail which is used to capture its victims. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah. So the um, um, King Dragon going for the Albies Auto Spam, that was really nice. The thing is, is that with the prisoners, you see this prisoner right here. So the way you get prisoners is that you can enter capture mode, which means your units, if I'm not mistaken, they do less damage, but they can capture prisoners, which give you a big a little spike in favor income. Um, so there, it's a little bit of a you know double-edged sword in that I'm going to turn down the music real quick, sorry. It's a little bit of a double-edged sword in that manner. Maybe that's a little bit better. It's a little bit of a double-edged sword in that you do less damage, but you do get more favor income. And he ended up with a positive KD. Well done. Really well done by King Dragon. Really well done by King Dragon. Really well done.